Now in today's episode of Outdoor Quest TV, Vanessa's drawn one of the most coveted tags in Alberta, the trophy antelope tag. Now, one of the problems with judging trophy antelope is most people just don't get to see enough of them. And there's three criteria when you're judging antelope. First is horn length, horn mass, and length of the prong. Now an antelope's ears are about six inches long, so you can use that as a guide when judging horn length. But a really good tip that I've found is see where the ear tip sits in relation to the prong. Now you notice this ear tip is below the bottom of the prong. And if I find an antelope like that, he's probably gonna be over 16 inches. If that ear tip is above the prong, he's probably gonna be under 14 inches. Now it doesn't work on every antelope, but if you've got a buck with a fairly typical horn configuration, it's a really accurate guide. Now the next thing you wanna look at is mass. And if the horn width is about the same width as the ear at the widest place, you're looking at good mass. And now prong length is a little bit deceiving because prong length is actually measured from the back of the horn. So if you've got really good mass, you may only need a couple inches sticking out in front to actually get a decent prong length. And in this case, an antelope's eye is about two inches wide. So, you know, if we've got more than two inches sticking out the front, we're probably looking at a pretty good antelope. Now in this hunt, Vanessa is going to be shooting the 7 rem mag and she's going to be using Hornaday's Precision Hunter ammo. And in this case with the 162 grain ELDX. Now Hornady did a lot of Doppler radar testing on conventional hunting bullets. And what they found is that actually the polymer tip was melting at higher velocities. So what they've done is they've developed a tip that can withstand the heat of those higher velocities so it won't melt or it won't deform. Now obviously this greatly increases accuracy, but also what it does is this polymer tip initiates expansion on the bullet when it impacts the animal. And if it hasn't deformed at all, expansion is going to be much more reliable, especially at lower impact velocities often associated with um, you know, longer range shots. And these bullets are definitely designed for longer range shooting.